is up you guys i'm pretty excited to make this video because this is going to be a a full recap of the show um and also i want to talk specifically about the judges feedback that i received from the summer trading classic which was now about 10 days ago and the reason why i waited this long to really talk about it is i wanted enough time for the results and the experience to really saturate my mind to really digest everything that had happened and come up with a pretty good response so this video i would say is for anyone who i guess a just was interested in my journey with the summer training classic and competing for the first time um, anyone who wants to compete and wants to understand a little bit about maybe the summer training classic specifically but also just competing in general and and also just for anyone who just really likes to listen to the sound of my voice so yeah i, I am glad that i waited because it has been a roller coaster ever since the end of the show uh my not only you know emotions but my thoughts about the overall experience has changed quite dramatically and I'm gonna dive into that a little bit, but um, I also really just wanna talk about, you know, the feedback I did receive from the judges and what I plan on doing going forward with this whole thing. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. Um, so I made some notes and really just the first thing I wanna talk about is if I enjoyed it or not. And if you really know who I am and what I stand for, I just am such a proponent for having a goal, sticking to it and accomplishing it. And I know that happiness comes from just this feeling of having you know daily purpose and we receive daily purpose when we have a goal and we're working towards that goal and when we have that purpose of working towards the goal that's how we have fulfillment in our lives and ultimately feel happiness and i mean if you're happy then what more could you want so from that aspect i really enjoyed it it definitely was hard i mean you can look back just a couple of videos ago and i was really struggling with the digging aspect of this show prep but it's funny because as soon as I stepped on stage and just felt that experience, it suddenly became all worth it. And I'll admit that I didn't think this was going to happen. I did expect to have fun and enjoy the show, but I didn't think it would overcome how hard parts of the prep was. And I opened up a little bit on this on Instagram, but I had uh, some health concerns that I'm just not really gonna talk about, but, but I had reasons that made my prep especially more difficult and made me had to do things that I didn't really want to do and that I wouldn't recommend other people doing such as digging as hard as I had to dig but uh, just I was all in with it and so it is what it is but um, it was very hard but as soon as I stepped on stage it became suddenly worth it and so that's kind of my message to everyone else is I think you'll feel the same no matter how hard the prep gets um, if you're even on prep right now and you're digging and it seriously just sucks like trust me I dug for seven weeks had very low calories it was pretty awful but it was all worth it in the end okay so I want to talk about things I did well things I did bad and could have been better at so the things that I did well at the show um, for starters I think my posing was was pretty good it wasn't anything spectacular but it was just very rehearsed and I received a lot of positive feedback about my posing being solid uh, some people said it was the best posing in my class which is I'm really proud of I mean that's all you could really ask for right and also my stage presence I also was told by a lot of people that I had the best stage presence in my class which I mean the guys that were in my class were literally awesome they're so cool and if any of them are watching this like shout out to you guys you guys rock uh we actually battled it out on the stage for almost 10 minutes if i remember correctly it was very difficult and you can watch my last video you can see parts of it i, I pieced it together because i it was long but um it was such a fun experience those guys are really awesome and I'm, I'm grateful that they made me have to push my hardest uh, but yeah so i mean i think my stage presence was rock solid i think my posing was pretty rock solid um Overall, just containing my stress levels throughout the whole process, I think I did really well. You know, I was sleeping well, I was calm, I was collected. Right before stepping on stage, I was just having fun. I was laughing with the guys, um, just cheering each other on. And I think that made just the whole experience a lot better. Also my digging phase, although there were a lot of negatives to it, uh, I am proud that I was able to do what it took to get as lean as I needed to get to. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more on that in a second. But yeah, that's what I think I did well. At. Now things that I could have done better, I'll be honest, um, <laughs> I think I tanned a little bit too dark. I might be overthinking this, but basically most guys got two tans, but because I competed in both classic and men's physique, that gave me an opportunity to do a third touch up on my tan, which I took. I had a few marks on my arms and stuff, and I was like, I just want it to look as good as possible. So I went in for that third uh, 
that third tanning and not gonna lie the lady definitely put a lot on like she put way more on the third coat than I had received from probably the first and second coat combined and I got a lot of comments that like I looked very dark and uh, sometimes that can be a good thing but for me honestly like especially in my obliques I, I noticed it even after the very first hand I felt like a lot of my shreds and um, division and stuff kind of just got covered up by the tan which I wasn't expecting to happen and I don't know why it happened. I, I, it might've been okay in person um, under the lights and everything and maybe I'm overthinking it, but I felt like the tan almost like took away from my definition um, in some areas, especially my obliques, which is like literally one of my strengths. So that really sucked. Uh, and then again, maybe I just wasn't lean enough or something, you know what I mean? So brings on to the next point. I think I could have gotten leaner. Um, you know, I've, everyone has a unique body. With my body, I store almost all of my fat, quite literally. I've, I've even gotten like 3D scanners and like in body tests and a lot of my fat is stored on my trunk. So with that being said, um, if it's, it's hard for me to balance out the carbs because I need to fill out, right? So I need carbs, but also as soon as I have carbs, it's easy for my adipose tissues uh, storage to kind of get a little fluffier and I and I hate that excuse because if you're lean enough then you really don't even have to worry about that um, so I openly admit that I just wasn't quite lean enough and because all of my adipose tissue is mostly on my trunk when I'm trying to fill out I get less sharp in the abs and you can see in my stage photos I'm a little bit flat which I'm gonna talk about too when it comes to the judges feedback but I'm also not as sharp. And I can show you pictures from literally a few days before show day where I'm like ridiculously sharp, but I'm very flat. So I was trying to just make this annoying balance and all together, if I was just leaner, it wouldn't have been an issue. It sucks to say, but yeah, I should have just been leaner. And that's coming from a guy that I actually received a lot of feedback backstage from people that watched the show, things like that, that my conditioning was on point. And to them, I say, thank you, but I should have been leaner still. So yeah. Also in my posing, I could have twisted a little bit more, I think, and kind of shrunk my waist down a little bit. And then um, my fullness just wasn't there. So that's actually what the judges said. So I reached out to the judges on Instagram. I wasn't really sure uh, about doing this, but I just did it anyway. I sent in my pictures and I said, hey, hopefully you remember me. If not, it's cool. Uh, I just want some feedback. Tell me how it is. Like, I wanna know the good, the bad, the ugly. Just let me know. And they said like, your posing was awesome, your conditioning was awesome, your stage presence was awesome, um, but you were not full enough and you need to work on your peak. So um, I agree, straight up, I agree. I was really struggling, especially in classic physique in the morning. I was struggling with my fullness, um, particularly in my chest. Um, I just felt flat. And so I actually ate a full meal at Chick-fil-A after a classic physique, intimate physique, and I, it did work. I was able to fill out a lot more in men's physique. And it's not that I was terribly flat in classic, it just wasn't to my expectations. So I wanna clarify that too. I wasn't like super flat, but I was definitely flat. And then men's physique, I definitely filled out more. Um, but overall, literally, I think just I dug too hard too long and I didn't give my body enough time to recover because basically what happened is after the show, um, as soon as I started eating normal, like literally, I've been talking about this on my Instagram, I blew up, like my arms got massive. They still are, it's been 10 days, like every day in the gym, I'm like looking at myself like, bro, you look like you're on gear or something. And uh, I just got so much bigger. And so it's sad to see that even just 10 days ago, I stepped on the stage with much smaller shoulders, much smaller arms, much, much smaller chest. And now, I mean, almost like immediately after show day, I just filled up and, during the time, I mean, it was hard because I had been on prep for like 10 months. Uh, so you kind of forget what it feels like to be as full as you could be. So um, now that I'm reminded post-show of what it's actually like to be full, you know, hindsight's 2020, but looking back, I'm like, dang, you know, I really was flat. My arms really were a lot smaller and my shoulders and my chest and everything like that. So it's unfortunate. Hindsight's 2020, that's the best I can say. It's like in the moment, I, um, I was decently happy with how I was feeling out. I think I had enough carbs and things like that, but now I realize like I had a long way to go. And with that, to not go too long on this particular topic, but it all comes back to not being lean enough because 
as soon as I did really fill out my arms post show, I'm talking really full, like insane vascularity and fullness. I'm like literally look so much bigger. I'm spilt over in the midsection um, just because that's where I hold most of my adipose tissue. All my fat is there. So when I do spill over, yes, my arms look sick. They look shredded. They look huge, but my midsection looks completely spilled over. And so the only way to fix that is honestly just being leaner and then balancing it out a little bit more. So if I were to compete again, I would try to fill out more, but um, hopefully be leaner <laughs> for one and, and try to balance that where I don't lose too much of the shreds on the, in the midsection. It's, it's a tough balance, you know, um, because I am special and I have all my fat in my torso, it is a bit harder for me to keep the sharp abs. Um, compared to someone who might have a bit more evenly distributed fat, uh, but that's just how it is. So yeah, the only thing I could do better is just be leaner. And yeah, so that's the main feedback I got from the judges. It's just, I need to be fuller. And that's why ultimately, you know, I started off my class when they called out the finals first call outs, I was center stage and which was the best feeling, honestly, like it felt so good. And then they started moving guys around and I stayed center stage. They moved guys around again and I stayed center stage. At this point, I'm like, crap guys, like, wow, I might win the class, this is crazy. Um, and then as soon as they started comparing a bit more fullness between the guys, you know, clearly like, um, the guy that got third place, I mean, he was pretty big. The guy that got second place, Harry, you could tell his shoulders were a bit more filled out than mine. But they bumped me out. I mean, that's that's what happened. They bumped me out. So I got like fourth, maybe fifth. I don't really know. I would like to think I got fourth because I was in first for a while. So whatever, it doesn't really matter. I didn't place. And uh, all together, like, I'm not upset at the placing because that's the sport. You got to accept the fact that the judges are going to make a decision and that's it you know it doesn't matter like who looks better on instagram it looks it's it's all about who the judges say look best on stage so i can't be upset at the placing um i mean of course i'd want to win right but like that's what they decided so that's what happens that's the outcome um but yeah the things i could have done better is just been fuller and been leaner and like i guess that's silly to say like all i had to do was just be bigger and leaner um yeah welcome to bodybuilding but uh no, altogether, like to end this video, my overall thoughts is it was so much fun and it didn't matter how hard my prep was, it, it all of a sudden became worth it. I am glad I did classic physique, which during my prep, I was like, why the heck am I doing classic physique? This is ridiculous, but I am glad I did it. It was an awesome experience. I got third place, had a blast. Um, men's physique was awesome. I wish I would have been able to be more competitive, but like I said already, hindsight's 2020. You know, you you see all your mistakes afterwards, and all we can do now is just implement those things in the future. So, in the future, I will prioritize a bit more fullness, even if I have to give up a little bit of tightness in the midsection. Ideally, I would just be leaner, so that wouldn't even happen. I wouldn't have to worry about any sort of spillover or anything, um, because if you are lean enough, truly shredded, then your chances of spilling over or not looking as tight or any of that is minimized. I mean, like you probably won't have to worry about it at all. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Like that's all I have to say. I mean, it's just awesome. If you're thinking about doing a summer shredding classic, literally just do it. Um, next year, our team is going to be epic. So if you are interested, like literally just DM me on Instagram and we will get to work. We're, I think roughly eight months out from it. So it's, it's gonna be epic. And uh, I will say you will see me on the stage again someday. I don't know exactly when, don't know when. Um, until then, yeah, we've got some other goals we got to chase. I'll talk all about that in the next video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And honestly, sincerely, thank you for the support with everything. This has been such an awesome opportunity and, and uh, just time of my life. And uh, I hope that you guys feel inspired to just do something crazy. I mean, I, I really want to push myself with this. I received a lot of happiness from pushing myself with this goal. And I know that you can do the same. Find a goal, stick to it like give it everything you've got and you're gonna receive happiness from it because I can finish this knowing that like whatever happened, you know, I didn't even place, but like I feel happy. And uh, that's what happens when you accomplish a goal. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>